Thanks for watching. This is Freddy the Feral Cat. In a couple minutes, I'm going to show you a video of Freddy attacking the food bowl that contains canned pate wet cat food. First, I want to take a couple minutes to explain why Freddy is inclined to think the food in the bowl may be alive and strike back at any given moment. Here you see Freddy sleeping comfortably on my neighbor's porch. This is the best Freddy has ever had it in his entire 11 years living here at our 24-acre residential care facility for the elderly. Freddy was born here. He has survived by befriending elderly residents who live in cottages throughout the facility who choose to feed him. Unfortunately, these residents are elderly and often go to the hospital for surgical procedures and are often moved from the cottages to higher levels of care, such as skilled nursing and dementia wards. Every time Freddy loses a benefactor, he survives by hunting until such time a new benefactor starts feeding him again. Thus, Freddy's hunting behaviors are strongly reinforced. Freddy has a much bigger problem here at the old folks' home than finding benefactors. Freddy's survival here makes for an interesting story, and I'm going to make a couple more videos featuring Freddy's survival skills. What could be more of a problem than finding someone to feed Freddy, you ask? One word. Coyotes. We live on the edge of an undeveloped canyon that connects to hundreds of square miles of mountainous areas. If you subscribe to my channel, you will get notifications on your YouTube home screen when I publish these new videos. I will also make a video showing how Freddy became friendly after nine years of not allowing anyone to approach closer than 10 feet. We're just a minute away from the video of Freddy attacking the food dish. One last focus at sweet Freddy resting peacefully in his bed on my neighbor's porch. This picture is Feral Freddy before he became friendly, assessing the food dish. He hides on the other side of the bed and checks out the dish for several minutes before he even approaches it. Okay, I'm going to show the video here. I apologize that it is not a better view. However, at this time in Freddy's life, he would not eat when someone is watching him. He doesn't know I leaned out the window of my room with a camera. The view will get better as the battle with the food dish escalates and Freddy knocks the dish for a loop with his paw. So you'll hear a, a noise that's like a tapping noise. He's actually whacking the food out of the dish and the di dish slides a little bit and it rattles against the porch. He will not put his head in the dish at this time. It's going to escalate here in a minute and he's going to knock that dish for a loop. So hold on and wait for it. He's sliding that dish all over the place just trying to get the food out. Something happened there. He, he thought it was going to attack him, and he fought back. I'll freeze the video here. He stuck his head in the food dish, so I guess he figured that he won the battle. I uh, was not um, planning on making a YouTube video out of this at the time I was shooting these videos. Be sure and subscribe to see the future videos of uh, Freddy vs. the Coyotes and how Freddy became friendly after remaining feral and not allowing anybody approach him for nine years. Also, I do have videos of uh, seabirds. I lived on a boat for 27 years and I do have some videos of um, marine life. So check those out too on my channel.